In this episode I'm going to show you how to animate Sinti characters with Mixamo for use in Blender. So we're going to use Blender to import the character, fix him so that he shows up correctly and is importable into Mixamo. Then we're going to apply an animation and then we're going to export this from Mixamo again to bring him back into Blender so that we can see the animation and use it in our scenes in Blender. It's a convoluted process with quite a few steps. I've just found out how to do it so I thought I'll share it with you. I'm in Blender 2.82 for this and I want to bring in the character first so that we can go and fix him so that Mixamo is happy otherwise it throws an error message. I find it really helpful for this step to, to delete everything from your scene so I'll double tap A followed by X and then I'll have nothing in my scene so no light no default camera. This is important otherwise when we try and export the character as FBX the camera and the light might still be in there and I don't really want that to happen. Let's bring in a character by File, Import, FBX. Now notice when you download the assets from the Sinti store, you may end up with two folders that you can download. One is, in my case, it's the heist pack. One is called the Windows folder and one's called the Source Files folder. We need the Source Files folder. I believe Windows, that's a Unity or an Unreal project. And in my case, I want to use the Source Files in here. I find the characters folder and that contains several FBX files of the characters that are included with the packs. They're all a little bit different but I'm going to use the male FBI character here. Now these import settings are very important. I leave the include options here at the defaults. So I'll go and collapse that. Transform is important to select manual orientation here and then pick forward minus Z forward and up Y up. We don't have an animation so I can untick that. And the other important step is under Armature where we want to use the automatic bone rotation options. Everything else can stay as it is and I'm going to go and click Import. That'll show me this. That's not quite what I was expecting. But hey, there's a trick to fixing your character up and this comes actually from Titan Gaming so I can't take credit for that. Thank you so much Titan Gaming. I will link to his video in the description of this video. Go over and change object mode to pose mode and then under pose select clear transform all and that will make a character appear. Don't worry about the skeletal bones here, they won't show up in the final render, but they're nevertheless important so that the skeleton is rigged properly and Mixamo can go ahead with animating this using our skeleton. I'll go back into object mode. I'm just going to make one final fix and that's to apply the texture to this character. If I switch over to the material preview mode, I can see that the character now appears pink. And that's because although the correct file might be referenced, it is at a different location now that I have it on my system than when the character was built. So I head over to the shading tab and just quickly apply that. We see the material preview here already but we don't see any nodes to fiddle with at the bottom here. And that's because currently we're selecting the root character here. And if I open that up, I can see that the actual geometry is down here. So I can either click this or I can click on the character and that will bring up my node system down here. There's one texture plugged into the base color here and that's the one that we're after. Click on the little open image icon and that'll bring up an open image dialog. At the bottom I can see that it's kind of asking for polygon heist texture.psd. We don't have a PSD file but the texture name is more or less identical to the texture file that we find in the downloads. So once again, under source files, there's a texture folder that came with your assets. And these are the kind of variations on the characters. They all look a little bit different, but most of them will work. So I'm going to pick the first one here, polygon heist texture underscore one. And that will make the FBI uniform show up. Very cool. Now we have a character. Let me go back to my layout tab and just in case you want to preview the character without any of the skeleton sticking out, you can always just switch that off on the overlays tab right here. That's what my character looks like now. Let's export him so that we can import him into Mixamo. And once again, export FBX will do the trick. 
I'm going to put him in my downloads folder and I'm going to name him FBI agent. I've already got one here so I can overwrite him. But the export settings are kind of important. I only have this character as a single object in my scene so I don't have to worry about selected objects but if you had more you should select this tick box here. I don't need to do that. In fact I don't need to do anything here. I can just collapse this box and have a look at the rest of these things. I'll leave transform alone, geometry will also remain at its default. I don't want to bake an animation here and under armature, and this is important, I'm going to disable add leaf bones and even more importantly I'm going to select the correct armature FPX node type. By default it's set to null and that means no skeleton will be exported with the FPX. Let's switch that to root. I will explain in a moment why that is. Hit export FBX and that has taken care of that. You might think that root actually refers to this, but that's not the case. This is just our character's armature name. At the bottom here, we can find a bone that's called root. And from that, we see all the other bones springing off. And that is what I've selected there. So I could rename my character here into something like FBI agent, but this would still remain root in the FBX export dialog. So make sure you select that. We're done in Blender for now. Let's head over to Mixamo and import our character there and apply an animation. So right now I'm not logged in. I need my Adobe ID to make that happen. And once I'm in the system, I'm being presented with this. Lots and lots of animations. I can also see my previous character here, which is Fat Elvis. I don't want to use him. I'm going to upload my own character. And that's the FBX file that we've just created, named the FBI agent. This could get hairy. Mixamo likes to throw up random error messages here without telling you what's actually wrong with the file. So let's hope that's not happening here. Ah, we're in luck. The auto rigger comes up and it shows my FBI agent in this kind of manual pose here. This is just a preview. Don't worry about the fact that there's no text just showing up here. They are included with the FBX and we'll be able to pick them up as soon as we apply our animation and get the animation out from Mixamo again. Hit next and find yourself an animation. I'm gonna try Samba dancing here because that looks quite cool. And I must admit, I do quite like a dancing FBI agent. You can pick any animation from the list that you like. And as soon as you're happy, click download. Pick the FBX format with skin, no keyframe reduction, and pick the frames per second that is suitable for your animation. I'm gonna use 60 because that's like super smooth. And let's go and download the little guy. Back in Blender, we don't need this person anymore. He has served his purpose. Let's go and start with a brand new scene. Remove the default cube. This time we can leave the light and the camera in place and head over to File, Import, FBX. This will now have downloaded with a file name of the animation that you've picked. So in my case, that's Samba Dancing. I would recommend that you either rename this or file it off into a different folder so that when you download several animations, you don't get confused which character and which animation combo you've downloaded here. Importing works much the same way as it did before. So under Transform, pick Manual Rotation with minus Z forward and Y up. In this case, make sure the animation box is ticked because we have animation data that we want to bring in. And under armature, all we need to do is pick automatic bone rotation and hit import FBX. This might take a little longer depending on the amount of animation data that you're bringing in from Mixamo. And as soon as Blender is done, we have a dancing FBI agent here. Again, don't worry about the armature here. If you press play, you'll see a preview of the animation. My computer isn't quite as fast because I'm, I guess I'm screen recording something here. I can also switch off the overlays here. I can go into texture preview mode and there he is, dancing away. That's exciting. If the animation is longer than the default duration that's set up in Blender, which is 250 frames, you can just go and increase or decrease that appropriately so that you can preview the whole animation. So in my case, I can see that I've got, whoa, 1100 frames of animation here. So I guess I can set my end of the animation to 1092. That'll now show this guy dancing. 
And here's the finished product. I've only applied a default light and framed him up in the camera and that is what he looks like rendered in Eevee. I hope this was helpful. Join me in the next episode when I'm going to show you how to apply a walk cycle to an NLA track or an action strip in Blender so that you can loop your walk animations. Stay tuned for that.